Hi class, welcome to our week 16 topic on technopreneurship. For this week, we are going to tackle the issues on technopreneurship. Technopreneurship emanated from the Singaporean culture, which means a person whose entrepreneurial activities concentrate on technology-centric enterprises. This is a joint concept of creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, and technology. Although the technopreneurs are individuals with experience in the technology mastery, they are able to see the market opportunities in the area of technology. They are able to, dis to scan the immediate environment, generate the ideas, collect resources, and take action to take advantage of the opportunity, particularly in the field of technology. After the discussion, you are expected to understand the, te the technopreneurship and the innovations in business practice. We also have to distinguish the various uh, factors that affect technopreneurship and understand the process of creating the startup ecosystem. Technopreneurships account for at least two-thirds of all the technical advances that improve the economy in the country, such as the China. So it is highly commendable on the part of the government that one of the winners of the Centennial Award was a technopreneur who combines the local and international technology to turn the native uh, products into uh, other products. So these are the several others in the food, the fashion, automobile, and uh, mechanical sectors of the economy. So without the dedications and innovations of the such living technicians as Bill Gates of Microsoft, we have uh, Otun Bagati of BNP Mobile Toilets. We have Leo Stan Eke of Sinox Technology. Florence Serriki of uh, Omate Computers. Jan Obaro of System Specs. Lek Alder as Alder Consulting. And Ben Bruce as the Silver Bird. Technopreneurship is much like an entrepreneurship, except in the world of the high technology. So they are very mixed ideas of business innovations. Engineering skills, we have the management skills and the entrepreneurial thought. This uh, starts with the premise that when it, it's packed, the high tech goods are Viable. So their startup grows into profitable IT firm and gradually move into the IT parks or houses. And what will be our approach to achieve and maintain the best possible alternative way of thinking uh, in order to achieve and maintain the healthy scenario mentioned? A uh, technology based ecosystem in the area must be in place. So this includes the collaborations of the academy, so the IT industry, the government, and the business community. So this is called as the synergy, which support the following components. We have the academy technology programs, technology company incubators, venture capitalists, and financing institutions. We also have the IT business opportunities and the uh, supportive legal framework, access to domestic and international IT markets, domestic and international locations, IT enabled uh, business enterprises and government agencies, the IT enabled hotels and tourist destinations, and the IT friendly real estate environment. Issues on technopreneurs and overview. The greatest problem facing us today in the wake of the global financial and economic crisis is dealing with the unemployment situation. 
the economic uh, downturn has been transformed into a global um, employment crisis involving the widespread of job losses and increased unemployment in developed countries and underemployment and increasing the informal economy, the increase in secure jobs and working poverty in the developing countries. Given this uh, global employment crisis, encouraging the job rich growth is critical, both in the short term during the recovery and in the long term. So in order to make the economic uh, growth more inclusive and equitable, entrepreneurs and the government uh, behave socially responsible anytime anyone is working. So they rely on each other to be in harmony. So too much leverage from each either side is dangerous and can cause the mechanism to fail and spiral out of control before properly realigned. So as the future technopreneur, we need to build the jobs that start up with the small ideas. We design, build, and invent and invest from these ideas. The most challenging yet most effective way to establish the long-term job is to develop the new industries and it is uh, undoubtedly the toughest. But the safest way to continuously develop an economy that can provide its people with jobs. So these are the factors that affect the technopreneurship. Number one is individual characteristics factors. The needs for approval, the perceived instrumentality of wealth, the need for independence, and the need for escape-led individuals. Then we also have the motivation factors. This includes values, interests regarding the entrepreneurship, we have the business management skills and the amount of the external resources, access level of the personal control of running the business. We also have the situational factors, the time constraint and influence of the other people through the social pressure. We also have the exogenous factors. These are the lack of opportunities for employment. And then we have the social factors or the family aid and support systems. We have the financing resources, the technical expertise, and availability of the human resources and variety of financing resources. We also have the non-financial assistance, counseling and support services, entrepreneurial uh, networks, the incubator facilities, government procurement programs, and support to research and development. And then finally, we have the entrepreneurial and business skills factors, the technical and business management skills, the technical vocational and business education, entrepreneurial and technical vocational training programs. So these are the entrepreneurial and business skills that we have. The startup uh, ecosystem of technopreneurship according to the Department of Trade and Industry. So the concept of technology in entrepreneurship and the ability to find the opportunities is at the core of the innovation process. Even as we develop new way to take advantage of these opportunities. So we believe that innovation driven by entrepreneurship combined with the vision, the passion, the strength. We also have the commitment, experience, judgment, and plain hard work can turn the good business into a practice. So the government class should promote the idea of inclusive innovation that deliberately involves the people at the bottom of the pyramid. 
so who are excluded from the traditional economic growth and development. So the development of the new business projects and the push of innovation is establish small and medium-sized companies that the core components of the inclusive innovation cycle and should be the central focus of the government policy to encourage the innovation. With that growing number of the entrepreneur in both the conventional and the technology sectors in the Philippines, the government has introduced programs to help improve their companies and compete with the foreign players. So these programs include the P3 program, the Kapatid Mentor Me program, the Go Local program. We also have the SME Roving Academy, the Shared Service Facilities. We also have the Go Negosyo Act. And then we have the Slingshot Philippines and the OBO Innovation Hub. So those are the startup ecosystem technopreneurship in the Philippines. The Philippine startup ecosystem experienced the changes over the years. So in the early of 2000, most startups or the technology companies were focused on deals, communications, search engines, listing and blogging. So in this period, notable startups uh, include the Chica, the Suli, the OLX Philippines, the Metrodeal, and the Pinoy Exchange. By 2007, uh, top mine technologies were data mining analysis. The search technologies, we have the service-oriented architecture and the virtual collaboration. The attention also shifted to mobile technologies, the data security, and the cloud in the intervening years. So today, the essential technologies that impact the companies are the artificial intelligence, the augmented reality of blockchain drones, Internet of Things, we also have the robotics, the virtual reality, and the 3D printing. So with the rapid changes in the technology, as well as the growing focus on the innovation, we ask our founders about the role that they play in driving the innovation. So most innovation-related initiatives in the past focus on the improving and developing the new products. In the survey, um, technology services, the customer service, the products, top the founders' focus areas for innovations. And in the next three years, yeah, it is understandably technology is still the top priority of the founders because most of them just started in the last two years. So as such, the technology enhancements are essential. Technology is also no longer just uh, seen as the tool for creating new and improved products. So today, technology also helps in gaining the insights. Improving success rates in startups. Find the right market. So we have to consider class the market much as you want a long-term partnership. So consider a good market if you have a clear view of your business, the strengths and the competitive advantage and can adapt that what you need to and want for a new market. So the chance to improve the revenue is a simple aim, but there are other items you have need or want, such as the higher profit margin, longer sh uh, shelf life for the goods, professional workforce, the access to a certain resources, ease of market entry, or a market that provides a gateway to other markets in the world. We also have the pivot when needed. So while pivoting in the startup world means uh, moving a new approach. So it is also taught to 
entail a drastic change in the business as a whole. Yet, that's not always the case. Sometimes, uh, the organization has only one big problem that needs to be solved, and the only one part of the business needs to be modified. So we need to validate as quickly as possible and make sure to get familiar with the complexity of uh, management, the sales, the marketing, administration, and finance. So it takes a week to take an online course that teaches the basic of these disciplines. So you have to make sure that you spend some time at a very early uh, stages before you ask someone for money. So nonetheless, if you're not going to buy both, uh, whether it's once, twice, uh, you need to do as soon as possible because this helps you to avoid wasting time, the energy, and money. You also have to hire the right talent. So fewer recruiting mistakes means less waste of time and resources. So if you think about the skills you need and the attitude you like, you are more likely to hire the right person. So know your numbers. When the number of resources to obtain the information increase, it becomes easier to obtain information about the market opportunities and come up with some good business ideas that will enable you to build your own success company. Because the information technology enables us to discover, explore, evaluate, and exchange information more quickly and effectively. So it has never been easier to develop one of the next big ideas for technopreneurship. And then we also have embrace your embrace good government good governance so governance is the system by which the companies create and enforce the control their rules and policies good governance has a variety of important characteristics and it can mean different things to different people group and individual holding the positions of the authority that must have a sense of responsibility of a system or check the balances if they are to rule effectively. Then we also have the sell, sell, sell. Selling the goods or services seems to be the key to making a successful company, but do not presume that customers would automatically follow you. So even if you have your own store, it is important to see sales as a place where the actual financial transactions is the last in the series of steps you need to take to achieve that level. We also have the form the right partnership. You need to develop a collaborative relationship that is unified behind the shared goal and missions. Uh, this makes a big impact. The team performance must be expressed in the decision-making process. Organizational structure, the actions, and the contact with the internal and the external parties. For further studies for this week topics, so you may visit the following sites for additional information. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.